The American flag is a symbol of freedom and has been used for generations as a guiding light for peoples all over the world. This symbol is a representation of the ideals of the United States of America and all those who represent this great nation, and so it is imperative that we show it the utmost respect. The aim of this video is to demonstrate the proper etiquette for flag usage and display as dictated by hundreds of years of American tradition and by Chapter 1 of Title 4 of the United States Code, the Flag Code. When conducting a flag-raising ceremony, it is important to speak loudly and clearly so that everyone can hear you. What follows is a demonstration of a respectful flag-raising ceremony. Will the audience please rise? By standing for the flag-raising ceremony, you are showing your respect for the flag and the speaker. Color guard attention. Color guards, forward march. The flag should be hoisted briskly and lowered ceremoniously. Color guards, post the colors. During the ceremony of hoisting or lowering the flag, all persons present should face the flag and stand at attention with the right hand over the heart. Those present in uniform should salute. Right hand salute. The Pledge of Allegiance, created in 1892 by Francis Bellamy, is a sign of one's loyalty to the flag and to our nation. Traditionally, the pledge is also part of a flag-raising ceremony, and all should stay saluting while reciting the solemn pledge. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America, and, America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Two. Color guards dismissed. As a symbol of our country, the flag should be stored in a respectful manner by folding the flag into a triangle. The process of folding the American flag will now be demonstrated. First, fold the flag in half, long ways, with the stars facing the ground. Next, Fold the flag in half, long ways again, so that both the top and bottom of the folded flag has an equal portion of the field and stars on it. Following the last fold, the person holding the stripes should start creating the triangle design by taking the bottom right corner and folding it onto itself as shown. Follow the pattern of the bottom fold of the flag. Remember to keep the flag taut in order to keep crisp folds and help ensure the flag has a prolonged life. Finally. Tuck any excess flag and border into the folds to secure the triangle shape. No other flag or pennant should be placed above or, if on the same level, to the right of the flag of the United States of America. When displayed either horizontally or vertically against a wall, the Union should be uppermost and to the observer's left. Unless flying an all-weather polyester blend, the flag should always be lowered, folded, and stored in a safe area at night or when inclement weather may occur. When flying flags during night or bad weather, it should always stay illuminated. While flying the American flag is a very patriotic action, it is important for owners of flags flown outdoors to know when to retire the flag. The flag, when it is in such condition that it is no longer a fitting emblem for display, should be destroyed in a dignified way, preferably by burning. In the modern day, with more and more clothing becoming petroleum-based, it is important to also consider the health risks taken if these flags were to be retired through a fire. Retiring flags can be completed by any American citizen. Some organizations, such as the VFW or Boy Scouts, will collect damaged flags and will retire large numbers in public ceremonies, often near patriotic holidays. Please note that if the flag is nylon, it is highly recommended that you hold the retirement ceremony, but instead of burning the flag, simply cut the flag in an acceptable manner without cutting the blue field and recycle the parts at your local flag recycling center. Before the governmental standardization of an American flag and ensign, Many throughout the British colonies in America created flags to differentiate themselves from native British. During the American Revolution, it became increasingly important to differentiate themselves from other countries. Though these flags vary greatly, they all share a single purpose, a representation of one's patriotism. 
Even after the new nation had formed, designs of the flag continued to vary until 1934. A popular symbol in the American colonies and later for the Young Republic, the Gadsden flag represents the colonists' rebellious attitude and their willingness to strike back, much like a rattlesnake. Personally raised by George Washington, the Grand Union is largely believed to be the first flag recognized as American by a foreign power. Commonly known as the Betsy Ross flag, the design was not created by Betsy Ross. Many historians believe that Francis Hopkinson, a representative of New Jersey during the Continental Congress, might have designed the first flag, as he also designed seals for various departments of the government. Named after one of the country's most inspiring naval captains of all time, the John Paul Jones flag was designed specifically for a ship Jones had captured during an intense naval battle. This flag was commonly used for historic displays, however it was not commonly used during the Revolution. With 13 stripes representing the original 13 colonies, and only 12 stars representing the 12 states that met at the Constitutional Convention of 1787, the constitutional flag was flown over George Washington's inaugural address to represent the beginning of a new government. The first flag created specifically for the infantry regiment. This flag is the result of the unlimited atmosphere for unique designs reflected by the spirit of freedom. A hastily painted flag, like many at the time, the Whiskey Rebellion flag was used to fulfill the needs of people united for a single cause. In the case of this flag, it was to unite them in protest of the excise tax on alcohol. This flag was used during the War of 1812. It grew famous when it flew over Fort McHenry during a British bombardment and the subsequent commemoration by Francis Scott Key's poem. After 1795, when the flag was changed to reflect the adding of Vermont and Kentucky into the Union, it became customary for the U.S. to adopt a new flag with every new state that joined the Union. Each star came to represent a state, while the 13 stripes remained representative of the original 13 colonies. Color Guard Ford. Color Guard retrieved the color. Right hand salute. What is the meaning of the flag of the United States? There can never be a definitive answer to that question. There are people in this world who see it as a symbol of imperialism. Others see it as a destiny of the people. But reference to these similar views of the flag was resolved by Woodrow Wilson when he said, this flag which we honor and under which we serve is the emblem of our unity, our power, our thought, and shape of this nation. It has no other character than that which we give it from generation to generation. The choices are ours. My name is Joseph Caswell, and this video was made under my direction as part of my Eagle Scout project. I hope it has been informative and that you will share it. It can be found online on YouTube for easy access, or you may request a DVD from me. Any other means of distribution are welcome as long as you do not restrict them in any way. Any comments, questions, or corrections can be made in the comments section of the YouTube page.